Hi, I'm Karina Gordon Barnes here to help you find peace in any relationship that matters to you. And if you want to find peace, then the very first step is to look at your resentments, the blame, the complaints, the disappointment, the frustration that you hold against someone. Now, what is the first step to let go of those resentments? Well, it's to put those resentments on paper in something that I call the rant. So everyone that I've shared this with has loved this process of getting your resentments on paper in a way that's private, thorough and uncensored. And today we're looking at how to do that in a really thorough way. So there are four sections to the rant and I'll talk you through each of these. And it's a way that you can just think of someone who you find really challenging, that you feel troubled in your relationship with and we can get everything on paper. So the very first section then is what I call the offenses and labels. So what is it that this person is or what they've done that you feel has hurt you. So for example, he doesn't listen to me, she doesn't care about me, he's putting his needs before mine. So all of those, if you were gonna have them in a court of law and you were gonna bring a court case against them, these are the offenses that they have committed against you. And then the labels, so what are they? The fact that they've committed these offenses against you, what does that make them? Does it make them selfish? Does it make them needy? Does it make them irresponsible, lazy, greedy? So really go to town with who this person is in your mind and why you have these resentments against them. Then once you've done that, the second section is then what do you want or need instead? Okay, so think about particular situations with them. I want him to call when he's on his way home. I want her to listen to me. I need him to care about my feelings. So just get your yearning down on paper. If you could have anything at all that you wanted and needed from this person, what would it be? Just have them live on paper. Then in the third section, this then is your step-by-step -step instruction manual for this person. And how I like to approach this is consider that they want the same thing that you do. Okay, so let's say this person says to you, well, I want what you want. I want to listen to you better. I know I'm not a very good listener. I want to listen to you better, but how do I do that? So section two was the what that you want. And then section three is how this person would give you what you want, assuming you're on the same side, even if it feels very much like you're not. So for example, okay, how would that person actually show me that they were listening to me? Here's how it would look. Put your phone down when we're speaking. Hold eye contact with me. Repeat back in your mind what I'm saying to really hear what I'm saying. If you notice that you zone out, say to me, I'm sorry, I missed that. Could you repeat that, please? Okay, so it's like a recipe. It's like a step-by-step -step instruction manual that leaves no room for imagination of what that person actually needs to do to give you what you want. And then finally, section four, this is what I call the line in the sand section. So this is a court case, okay? You've got these offenses against this, this person. Imagine that you win the court case, okay? So you convince the whole world that your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your partner, your child, your sibling, that they are in the wrong. And everyone agrees with you. And you then get to say, these are my injunctions. These are my boundaries. This is what I never want to happen again. And the court was somehow gonna honor that, okay? So I never again want her to prioritize my niece and nephew over my children. Okay? I never again want him to ask me about money. I never again want my teenage son uh, up in his bedroom on the computer when I've asked him to come down for dinner. Okay, I never again want this. Make that really clear, this is your line in the sand. You will not tolerate beyond this point. And then when you've got those four sections, Look back and just see, is that thorough? Is that complete? Is that uncensored? And what I would really recommend is that you choose a few scenes that really sum it up, okay? So again, if this were a court case, this is the evidence, okay? So let's say, for example, um, my husband doesn't do enough around the house. Choose specific scenes that show this offense, okay? So that time when you were busy vacuuming and he was sitting on the sofa with a book. Or, okay, so you just build up those scenes. So add that to your rant. So you've got your four sections, you've got your scenes as evidence that prove, 
uh, the things that you've uh, labelled the person as, the offences that you've um, accused them of. This is your very first step to letting go of resentment. In other videos, I'm then going to share with you what you do, but this is the very first step. So do the rant and let me know how you get on. So come over to KarinaGordonBarnes.com, go to the contact page, drop me a message, let me know how was it to do the rant? Where did you get stuck? And where did you find that actually it was really cathartic to express your blame and resentment in this way? So please share this video with people that you know, anyone who you feel like is just holding resentment or throwing it at people in an unhealthy way. Um, share this video with them so they can learn how to do the rant themselves. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and come over to KarinaGordonBarnes.com to sign up for email updates.